Hey guys, today we're gonna to learn how to mix colors on a color wheel using just watercolor. So this is gonna be a two-part series and we're gonna start with part one, which is just drawing our actual picture that we're going to work on. So this is what our project is gonna be. You can either do the girl version or you can do the boy version. The supplies you're gonna need for this is a nine by 12 thicker piece of paper, some type of round object, I'm gonna use a bowl, and then pencils and a ruler, and of course, our Sharpie and eraser. All right, so to start off, we want our page to be vertical. We're gonna take our round object and we're gonna put it towards the top. So it's gonna have about an inch or so from the top and then an inch or so from each side. And then the bottom is gonna have a much larger gap because that's where our person goes. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna hold my object and I'm gonna go all the way around nice and light because we're gonna be erasing a lot of this line like that. Then we wanna find what would be the center. So I'm gonna just put a little dot in here and I can kind of check like with my fingers, just go, is that center to that? Pretty close, this sideways. And it's pretty close, so we're gonna take it as that's our center. If not, you know, we'd move it over to wherever it needs to be. Then I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm going to cut this circle in half. Okay, so I'm gonna line my ruler up with this dot and I'm gonna draw my line going half straight down. And I can, again, kind of check like, hey, is this pretty even? And it is not, so I'm gonna actually slide it over again. I'm gonna check again. Maybe is it even down here? Is it even in the center? So that's pretty close. So I'll erase this other line. All right. Then once I have it cut in half, then I'm just gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna cut it in half this way also. So now I have quarters. And I know that's already gonna be too low. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw one right above it. Now this first part is a little tricky. I'm gonna check this again. And that's pretty close, so we're gonna take it. We're not looking for exact, so close is good enough. All right, now our color wheel has 12 sections. So each one of these is a quarter. So each one of these needs to be into thirds because three times four is 12. So I'm gonna take my ruler and my pencil and I'm gonna separate this out. So I'm gonna just give myself little bitty marks like this. And I'm gonna go, are these relatively the same size? So I'm gonna use my fingers and hold them together. And they are. And what's great about this is I only have to make marks on this side to be able to draw lines on this side and this quarter over here. So I'm gonna put my Pencil in the center, because I still want it to go through the center. I'm gonna line it up with my center and this first little mark I made. And I'm gonna draw straight across my circle, okay? Then I'm gonna repeat that one more time. So I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna put it in the center. I'm gonna line up my ruler with my center and I'm gonna slide it over to where it hits this little mark again. And I'm gonna draw all the way across. So this created six sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here, okay? All right, now that I have my, what's gonna be our color wheel drawn, I need to make this look like an umbrella. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to go inward like a C, okay? But not like a crazy C, you're just gonna go from line from corner to corner and create a line that's curved, like a little C. I'm gonna do the same thing to the next one. So from the next point to the next point or corner to corner. And you're gonna to continue to do this all the way around the whole umbrella. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna erase these little extra lines that were from the original circle, just cause I don't wanna get confused. No, I'm not erasing them perfect, just a slide erase, so I know I'm not gonna Sharpie those. Now once this is drawn, I am gonna go ahead and Sharpie all my lines, okay? So I'm just gonna take my Sharpie. Now, if you are not very good at tracing a straight line, still, you know, go ahead and use your ruler. When you line your ruler up, you wanna make sure that you see the whole line still because your Sharpie's a little bit fatter. 
you're gonna go from here and you're gonna go all the way down. And you can repeat this all the way around. Or if you want to freehand yours, you can do the same thing. Like that, okay? All right, now that my color wheel or my umbrella part is drawn, I'm gonna draw my person. Now we're gonna keep real simple people for this, okay? So this is my middle line and I don't want my other lines to line up with it. So I'm gonna go slightly over and then you know, this is where my second line is gonna be. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go even further. And this one's just a partially curved line. I'm drawing the girl version, okay? So it's a curved line and I'm gonna leave enough space at the bottom for legs and boots. Then I'm gonna go on the other side of the line. I'm gonna do another slight curve like this. Okay, now this is her rain jacket and these are gonna curve together at the bottom. It's a curve line again. And then I'm gonna do another line. Remember I said they're not gonna line up. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do another line like this. And this is where you know, the buttons would be. And then I like to add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna add a, like, a little color at the bottom and then maybe my buttons are hearts. Okay, they could be circles, whatever you choose. All right, so now we're gonna draw the legs and we don't want our lines to line up, so I'm gonna draw my leg over here. I'm gonna draw three total lines for my legs. I'm gonna start with the boot on the right because it's closest to me. And I'm gonna go around my leg like this because our boots are round. I think it's gonna come straight down. I'm gonna have my boot. And then my other one is gonna be a little bit higher. So see that this curve started here, so my curve's gonna start a little bit up further so they don't run into each other. And then my boot comes down. Remember I said it's a little bit higher. That's not the whole boot either. So they look partially offset from each other. Then we can also later on paint a little puddle around our person if you want to. She's gonna have a little puddle around her like this. And I'm gonna draw my horizon line. So my horizon line is just the line that cuts the foreground from the background. So I'm gonna line my ruler up, slide it up. And then my horizon line is gonna go on each side of my person. Now, if you wanted to do the boy version of this, it's the same exact concept except for the lines are just straight, okay? And then I'm gonna go back after I'm done with that and I'm gonna Sharpie. Make sure also you're not using markers, like Crayola markers for this, because when we watercolor, if you use Crayola markers, they're just gonna bleed all over the place, so you're gonna have a whole bunch of black everywhere else. So you have to make sure you're using a Sharpie or a permanent marker. All right, so this is all for our part one of our two-part video series. Our next part is gonna be how to paint this with watercolors. And if you don't have watercolors, you can always use colored pencil.